Hi guys, here Mark the Geek. I'm bringing you today a preview of DocuSign Inc. It's a doc. It's a, an app which lets you sign from your iPad any kind of documents, PDF, especially PDF, and Word documents, and even some Excel Excel documents. Let's open it up. Once you open it up, you're gonna see all the documents you've been adding already to your app to sign them and email them um, you can take a picture of a document I don't know why would you do that because it would look like crap if you take a picture of a document then sign it it doesn't look not professional at all um, it has the identity and manage your identity what it does is this is gonna be your ID that is saved to DocuSign um, account um, to to use DocuSign, you got to create an account. You can either use it's gonna let you use your Gmail, your Gmail. It's gonna let you use your Yahoo, or it's gonna let you use even Facebook. I don't know if Twitter too or or Google Plus, but you would have to create an account and you would have to enter your personal fields, like your name, your email, your personalized um um personalized signature. And that's that's very good. It makes it private, and it will always remember your your signatures and your even your initials. You can create an initial. Okay, here it tells you feedback. Blah blah blah. Okay, once you open the app for the first time, you're gonna see only this document. That's a demo document. When you open it, it's gonna it's gonna it's like a tutorial. It will show you how this app works. Um, like you see. What you're gonna have this menu up here once you open up a document. We're gonna open up a document later on, but I want to show you this first. Once you open up a document, transfer document here, you're gonna see this menu on top. When you choose that menu, you can either choose to insert an, an issue, you can either choose to insert a, a, a signature, you can either choose to enter a date. You can either choose to enter your norm, your name as you know, normal, you know, no signature. You can either choose to enter a check mark, make a check mark on a document. That's very cool. Or let's say you get you transfer a document that can't be edited, like some PDF files can't be edited by this. So you can enter a text field, which will let you add add any add any note to that documents. Okay, I want to, and after you're done, you can email the document to anybody and they will receive it. And from there on, you can print or whatever. I'm going to show you how I use it, and you can apply for yourself too. Uh, for example, I keep all my documents in Dropbox. That way, I can access my documents from anywhere in the world. Um, let's say I want to, this is a PDF file. See, PDF file. Um, this is from my work. Let's say I want to edit this file. I can't, like you see, I can't edit it here. And almost no app, um, there's very little apps that lets you edit any PDF file or even put in a signature. So in this, I would choose this, right? This option, open in, and you got all the app um, features, right? Or options. You're going to choose DocuSign. Once you choose DocuSign, um, it's going to open up at DocuSign app. Um, here, some PDF files, you can, it'll, some PDF files lets you edit those PDF, some don't. This one that I have lets you edit the fields of the enter, the enter text to the PDF file. Well, it'll, this, Do, this app DocuSign will actually let you enter those fields and do the signature which is very very good let's say I say yes if you enter yes this is how it's gonna look you're gonna see all the text field popped up so you can enter your whatever information you need to enter if you choose no it's just gonna it's just gonna look like a plain PDF file, which is good if if that's the only thing you need. If the only thing you need is to enter a, a signature and a date, that's good. You could choose no. But in this case, 
hey, I can edit, I can enter a field. Let's say, for example, let's put my name here. Okay, wow. I could enter my social. I'm not going to enter my social, obviously. <laughs> I'm going to put something crazy here. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, here you can it'll let you enter GES, whatever, right? Your organization. <laughs> um, like I said, you could enter anything here, right? Uh, remarks. Testing. Docu sign. Uh, testing. Docu sign. Uh, whatever. Okay, here. At signature in this mo in this instance, it will ask me for a signature, right? Here's the here's the menu. Here's the menu. On this menu, I'm gonna choose signature. See your signature is already. Oh, another thing you could use it. You could use it um, vertical. Right here, I would put the signature there. I c you can resize the signature. Right there. Boom. See? Perfectly. Um, here, you could either enter text, you could either enter the date, or let's use the document over here. Let's use this, this option over here, date sign. It will automatically, by default, choose the date you are editing this document. So, uh, let's put it here. Boom, boom. Right there. Let's put it there okay let's say I'm done let's say I'm done using this so I'll put finish are you sure you you're signed the document are you sure you've signed the document you choose yes once you choose yes you can email it to somebody I'm gonna email it to myself okay I'm gonna email it to myself. You could um, write a different subject. You could change the subject. It will send it as a PDF signed by you. Uh, once you send it, it'll send the document. Here it goes. So now I received the document. You sent the document to somebody. Okay, once they receive it, like I see here, once they receive it, they could see a PDF file. And let's press it. When you press it, you can either open in another document or you can either choose the PDF file, the, the DocuSign app to edit it just like we did before. But let's just open. Let's just open it. Uh, when they open it, when they open it, whoever you send it to will automatically see your signature perfectly done there look at the date it came out perfect even though I didn't enter it manually I put it use the menu um, see you can edit the documents um, see everything came out very good perfectly it will they will also receive another page which lets them know that this document has been signed by DocuSign and it's a very secure site it is done by VeriSign, you know, it's encrypted it's by encrypted technology, by VeriSign, is it outed, is a trusty thing, and it'll, it also works as an ad for them, so anybody can try it. It'll let them know that you signed it authentically and that your information is authentic, because you got to authenticate it first before you use the app. So here it is once you get the doc once you receive the document you could either print the document open it up in some other app or you can either print the document right here you would print your document and i'm telling you it works perfectly i've tried it already on on word documents i tried it again a couple times already on um i tried it already a couple times already on um uh, the PDF thing document sign and it works perfectly um, well that's all I hope you guys like the video and like this tip uh, thank you